Naruto and Sasuke walk toward death. What do they see in the rift between the material world and the afterlife? And so, time takes a sudden turn. In the next chapter, the final showdown. <laughs> Wrong. The will inside me doesn't belong to you. My will is the will of... Wrong. You can't lose. My dream is to surpass the Hokage. Someone who doesn't care about their friends is even worse. Naruto, I want to fight with you too. Bring back Sasuke. Just what are you? If that's what it means to be smart. And I want to be an idiot for the rest of my life! I'm glad I made you my student. Why are you so obsessed with me? Never forget your friends. I... love you. So come. Stand tall with me, Naruto. Stay strong and don't break your word. I won't either. That's my ninja way. Enough already. I thought this body is what you wanted. Once I recover this left eye, I'm just going to throw it away. If he gets that left eye, Madara will become even more dangerous. Which means, there's no way we can let that happen. Kakashi, he's... We don't know much about him, other than the fact that his name is Black Zetsu. But it looks like he was working on something secret while he was doing Obito and Madara's bidding. Now, after all this time, he betrayed Obito. Yes. Which means he must have only ever accepted Madara as his true master. Kakashi-sensei! <gasps> Sakura! What's... Naruto! The Nine Tails got yanked out of Naruto. If we don't do something... That's why I'm here, Lord Forth. I need your... If I give my Nine Tails to Naruto, he'll survive? Yes! It's okay. I'll be right there to save you. Naive. <laughs> You! <laughs> what? What? Sensei, what's going on? I'm... I'm sorry. He stole... the Nine Tails. <laughs> now Naruto will die. Which means the war is over. All that's left is... My time has come. <laughs> Lord Madara. Your 
late Black Zetsu. I had to come out here on my own. Kakashi, that's... Yes. Just like Obito, it looks like he's acquired the power of the Six Paths. I'm sorry. But I stole the Nine Tails from them. <laughs> Good. Bring it over here with the left eye. Just stop it. As long as Lord Madara lives, you can't... <clears throat> You're still... Madara. You're able to regain consciousness in that state. I... I can't go to sleep yet. There's something I need to talk to you about. Me? What could we possibly have to talk about now? What am I to you? Hmm. What a stupid question. To me, you are nothing but Madara. The being who rejects this world is Madara. All those who keep that ideal in their hearts and work to complete the infinite Tsukuyomi are nothing but Madara. You should have completed your mission and ended your existence as Madara. As the Messiah who saved the world. I thought you understood how things worked, just as the Sage of the Six Paths showed us this world is a failure. The Sage of the Six Paths' work merely promoted the hypocrisy of the human race. Chakra only gives birth to war and false hope. While you and I sought peace, we also simultaneously sought war. That is the reality. Infinite suffering is forced upon this reality by the power of Chakra. That is why I am going to create a new world. Through the infinite Tsukuyomi, I am going to create a dream world free of all that sinister chakra. As the last one, and the one who possesses the greatest chakra of all, I shall lead everyone. And you are me too, not Obito. This way. You are Madara. As of today, you are our savior. You are still the Messiah. You. The Hokage is the person who walks in front of everyone and bears all the pain. He'll never have to walk over the corpses of his allies. A certain shinobi enlightened my idiotic brain. Apparently, even if leaders have to make people walk over their own corpses, they never walk over the corpses of their allies. Hmm. I'll never let you walk over me again. Now I finally understand. Creating a false name and leaving everything to other people is different from entrusting something to your friends. I'm not you. I'm... Yes, right now, I'm... the one who wanted to be Hokage. You get it, don't you? You're... Obito Uchiha. I'm taking this. Kakashi, take Naruto into the space-time dimension. So that's his plan. Me too. Not so fast. If I try to leap without the proper planning, he could come for me when I'm wide open. I was wondering what you were planning. You were actually aiming for the tail beasts inside me. 
you're trying to save Naruto. But all you pulled out were fragments of the One Tail and the Eight Tails. And you cannot jump back into that space-time dimension. Not while I am here. In the end, you failed to accomplish anything. You are just a powerless shinobi now. Yes, if I were on my own. But I remember what you taught me once. The Sharingan's true power is unleashed when the left and right come together. With both Sharingans together, we're strong. At least... Way stronger than someone who only has one Rinnegan. The goal is simple. I'm going to buy you time to leap to Naruto. That's all. Got it. And that'll be enough to save Naruto? Yeah. Leave it to me. And I'll be the leader this time. I'll take the lead here. You're my backup, Kakashi. It'll be our first time teaming up in a while. Don't screw this up, Obito. Let's go.
Obito! Yeah! I don't think so. <coughs> Kakashi! Obito! You actually had perfect timing. Guy, looks like I made it in time. Oh, the jump should have been impossible at that speed. I see. They both use Kamui to double the speed. You put a lot of thought into this, Kakashi Hatake. Take care of the rest for me, Obito. It's okay. I'm going to save Naruto. Can we trust you? I could never walk in a straight line. But now... I've finally reached my goal. 